so this is going to be your <clears throat> monthly love reading for December. Capricorn, Moon, oh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is a general reading, you guys, so, you know, it's not going to resonate for everybody. But I do advise you to check your um, Moon and Rising signs as well as your Venus and your Jupiter signs, okay? Because it may just put the whole story together for you, give you added details, okay? <clears throat> if the reading still does not resonate for you after um, after all of that, then you are more than welcome to um, get a personal reading with me. And you can go to pinkarygym.com to do that, okay? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What's going on with Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay. Ten of Swords, the Hermit. Hmm. The Moon, Seven of Swords, Five of Swords. Oh, Eight of Swords, Three of Cups, Two of Wands. Six of Swords. You know, just right off the bat, a lot of Swords energy here. Wow, I feel like the heaviness. You know, you guys have come, come out of, you were stuck. You were stuck between a rock and a hard place over a betrayal. You felt very wronged in the past. Um, somebody hurt you. You felt stabbed in the back. And after experiencing that, you know, you felt there was a need for you to kind of take a time out and just kind of, you know, just go over things in your head to kind of get clear on, you know, how to proceed after going through this betrayal. And um, it took a lot for you to walk away from the situation where you felt very betrayed and you ended it. It's like you put it into thinking about the betrayal and you know what actually you you know bothers you so badly about you know this connection and so you took a leap of faith to to kind of, you know, it's one thing to walk away physically, but it's another thing to walk away emotionally, not lend your energy to somebody else any longer. And I feel like it took a lot for you to do that here and to kind of reflect on, you know, what actually got you to a point where you felt like you were just down and out just because t the ten of swords with the death that's a double ending there was a lot that went on that affected you heavily to where you just needed to remove yourself from the world like very like in recluse because you needed to take the time out to kind of see what how to get yourself back on track, how to get your life back on track. We have Aries here, um, Scorpio, Virgo, Pisces, energy. But, you know, you needed to take the time out to just kind of get yourself together to realize what, you know, get your finances together um, and realize that just because somebody is not in your life does not mean that you are alone because you were feeling very, very 
alone. And I feel like with the hermit and the five of pentacles with the devil card, like you were truly in recluse, like to the point of nobody seeing you. You know, there's a difference in, you know, just kind of taking a time out to get yourself together. But I feel like you were almost in a depression here. You were almost in a depression here. And with the moon card there, you you were in quite a state of confusion. Um quite overly emotional, feeling very saddened, not knowing what to do, not knowing where to go. Very, very sad. Um, wanting to wanting to get out of this state where, you know, you just were not communicating with anybody, not wanting to communicate with anybody. And feeling just very, very, um, very sad. I feel like, you know, here, you're still feeling to this day like cheated, deceived. Just kind of going back and forth about the arguments that you guys had, what they said to you. You know, what you could have done differently here. Lots of swords and thinking going on currently. From the seven of swords, somebody just, you know, just doing things that they know are not right. But they do it anyway because it's almost like, you know, it's self-serving. And, and unfortunately, it's people that do that. You know? I don't think that you are willing to go back there with the Ten of Swords, but it's almost like you're you're kind of moving backwards here. The Ten of Swords is ending, but this is a Five of Swords here. And, you know, that's arguing and doing things that winning at all costs, but nobody really wins. But I think this is you just being ready, you know, guarded, basically, with a Seven of Swords and an Eight of Swords. Like, you don't want to forget what somebody did to you. You don't ever want to forget because if you forget, then you allow for it to happen again. It's like the way you're thinking here again, we have another swords card, the nine of swords. But the only thing with the nine of swords is it's not real. Okay. So with the nine of swords, clarifying the seven of swords is like, if you think that this person cheated on you and this is just an example if you think that this person cheated on you they probably didn't they probably were just working okay it, it's it's sort of like that if this person told you that they didn't love you nine times out of ten that's not true they said that to hurt you which is not good either. But I mean, I'm just saying that whatever it is, it's like an overactive imagination. It's an overactive imagination, but what you're actually feeling is probably not true, is what that says, okay? And I do feel like you feel that way because This person really, really hurt you. And I just feel like in the relationship um, that there were lots of things that were just not fair. We have the Four of Wands clarifying, the Four of Wands and the Nine of Cups clarifying the Five of Swords. I get the feeling that, you know, this, this person Especially, I'm going to set the Four of Wands up there like that, okay? With the Five of Swords and the Nine of Cups. It's like this person, whoever this is, and the energy can go vice versa. They felt as though, well, I don't, I don't think 
think they they knew what they were doing. Um, I think they were quite argumentative. I think they did things in spite of you. I think that um, they didn't, they just wanted what they wanted out of the relationship. It really didn't matter or you felt like it didn't matter how you felt. And that is indeed the impression that they gave you. That's, that's what I get from this is that they were all about themselves, very selfish here. Very selfish. But you know what? They're feeling it. They're, they're, they're feeling the loss of you. They're feeling what they did to you. Because see, the Eight of Swords is not imagined is not imaginatory. Eight of Swords is actually there. Each of these swords is an issue that just needs to be addressed. Okay, enough thinking about it. That's what that is. Enough thinking about it. Um, do something to get yourself out of this. And the only way to get yourself out of it is to find realistic um, options that you can choose from. I believe this is a person that um, you're dealing with or vice versa, but they see, they see that, or they feel that you make them happy and you probably don't even feel that way. <laughs> you don't feel like what that way because of how, you know, the interaction was between you guys. We have Leo Virgo here um, and it could be somebody that's right there on the cusp as well. Leo, Virgo, Gemini, um, I think I said this, Pisces, here, and then we have all of this other air energy going on, lots of thinking. Um, if it's not those signs, guys, it's just the, the state that they're in right now, the energy that they're projecting. So, but yeah, they, they see, um, they see happiness with you. And they feel like you are happy and single at this point. Because they probably don't see you. They probably don't, like, they don't see you on social media. They don't see you out and about. They don't know what's going on with you. And I think that this, this Nine of Swords energy is almost you guys kind of like crossing over each other. Each one of you is thinking something about each other that's probably not even true. Like they think that you're, you know, you're single and you're confident or vice versa and not wanting to be with anybody when I feel like both of you are probably wanting to be with each other. But things just got so bad. Things got really bad between the two of you with all that swords energy, page of swords here. Somebody is realizing that they really want to be with the other person. Taking some time out to heal and really think about what needs to be done in this situation. Four of Swords is here too. I feel like all the Swords are here, but the Three of Swords. Somebody's in the process of, of deciding what action should they take? What's next? Do I come back? Do I revisit this connection again to see if it can work out? I love this person. Somebody's coming back. Just as I say that, gosh darn it. Look at this. What other options do I have? Do I come back? Because I'm passionate about this person. Knight of Wands. Somebody could be coming from a distance. And look at the Eight of Cups. Just, just walking right back into this situation. Just walking right back into the situation here. Hmm. 
Yep. Whereas, you know, there was a need for you guys to kind of go to your separate corners and just kind of, you know, just think about everything that happened between the two of you. Um, and you guys both sail forward to a spot that is conducive for both of you. We have the Six of Swords here selling in, you know, just moving to a calmer, you know, area in your life, in your relationship. And the connection just kind of like moving away from all of the bad stuff that happened, all of the arguments, all of the deceiving, the lying, the, the lying by omission, you know, even. Somebody was holding on. Somebody was holding on not only to their heart and closing their heart off, at the same time, they were holding on to this connection and now wanting to move forward successfully with the connection. That is the energy that's present here, Capricorn. Um, you know, I get a lot of, I see a lot of comments and I thank you guys for those comments. Um, I really appreciate them. I don't have a whole lot of time to respond like, you know, to everybody. But I know there's a lot of people say, you know, they've been coming back for a while or whatever. But, you know, this is for this is for thousands of people out there. And the thing is, this is just the energy that's present. Um, but everybody has, you know, free will. So whether, whether people decide to act on the energy that is present, you know, that that's to each his own. So this is just kind of information to kind of help you to know where, you know, the other person is, where you are, what's actually kind of going on around you. Um, because the energy that's here, the major arcana that's here is death, which is transformation. Hermit, which is reflecting, um, just reflecting on the experiences that have brought you to this point. We have the Fool card here, just taking a leap of faith. And sometimes it's actually like trying to show you too that, you know, something is a foolish action. Depends on where, you know, it's lying. Um, but, it's like you've got energy going on around you that is kind of trying to push you to go in the direction that you need to go in. But there's there's only so much pushing, you know, that that God can do that. But at a certain point, you know, you have to also contribute. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you know, and that's how when we push back, that's how we get caught, caught up in these bad karmic lessons that are so very, very hard. And, um, so with that being said, just because the energy is present here for you guys or for the person that you're dealing with to actually make a move to get this connection back together, it does not mean that it is set in stone that it will happen. Okay, because you're active participants in you know in your in your life. So, with that being said, Capricorns, I hope you guys enjoyed your reading, and I will be speaking with you soon.